Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I am your host, Scott Ramp. Uh, Noah will be here on Friday. Um, that was Asaf Adonai on piano. Um, what song was that, Asaf? That is an opera called Carol Nome. Wow. <laughs> well, what, what made you choose that song for today? Because I think it's going to tie in with our guest in a way. <laughs> Exciting. So we have a great show for you guys today. Hallmark of Billmark is here because it's Wednesday. But we have... <laughs> we'll do that later in the show. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing events. Um, we have some new programming for tonight. And we have a new little segment um, I hope to hopefully expand on. It's a little bit, uh, it's called Seed to Garden. And it's about uh, just some gardening tips from the Missoula Urban Demonstration Project. So I'm going to show you guys that in, a, in about a minute. But right now, I, I want to show you guys one of my new favorite things right now. And that's putting um, electronic beats to auctioneers. So let's take a listen. Seven, 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 quarter, quarter, and three, quarter, half, and three, seven, half, and eight, nine, three, seven, eight, 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 seven, eight, nine, quarter, quarter. Forty three to the bin and forward the bin number one time and forty five of the dance forty three to the bin forward the bin number one time and forty five of the dance ninety six ninety eight and three 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 and two 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 four three four six three six eight here and three three ten twelve 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 four three four 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 yeah, that's my new favorite thing right now. It's just like, <laughs> you, you don't think about that. You you heard some of that, didn't you? Yeah. It, it's ridiculous. It's like, it's perfect. Because, you know, you always hear these like rappers who are like rapping a million miles a second. And then you have auctioneers. It's like, why don't we just put a beat behind them? And it's one of the most uh, trending things happening right now, um, amongst other things as well. But of course, I do I want to show you another fun clip that I made um, recently. Um, it, it is a reality show that I hope to kind of um, make at MCAT. It's a super satire uh, reality show at MCAT. So I'm going to show you a little taste of that and hopefully I can expand on it because I'm going to wait for Noel to get here and summer camps to shoot all the uh, background stuff. But um, here's a little taste of that. I'm Scott Ramp. I am the technical director at Missoula Community Access Television. I pretty much run this place. Let me tell you a little bit about MCAT. MCAT is a nonprofit public access station where people can make programs. But do they? Not as good as me, because I'm me, and everybody's them. So there. All right. So that that was a little taste of the um, the satire reality show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does it look like a reality show? I guess so. I guess <laughs> Thanks, Asap. I'm not really into those reality shows. I know, I know. That's, what, that's why I'm making it, because it's, it's ridiculous, because reality shows are indeed, by its own accord, yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, I think it's a waste of film. <laughs> it is. Yeah, but a good thing everything's digital nowadays, so you don't have to worry about having it on film and wasting money. Mm -hmm. You basically film it on the same card as you did the week before. Okay, so um, let's talk a little bit about weather. So the weather, it's looking a little overcast today, and of course, uh, I did tease a little bit uh, on Monday that it was going to be some kind of stormy, some clouds. But of course, today is a 70% chance of showers likely to happen today. Of course, I think it did kind of rain earlier this morning. I couldn't tell a lot of times, like there are parts of the street that were dry and then parts of the street that were wet. Then again, it could be also a sprinkler system as well. So you never exactly know for sure. I didn't get a large scope of it. Uh, currently it's 55 degrees outside. Um, you have a low of 44 happening um, tonight. And of course, Thursday, it's going to be mostly sunny. There's Thursday night is going to be a low of 49. Uh, Friday, you can expect a uh, 40% chance of thunderstorms um, continuing on through Friday night. And then, of course, Saturday, you can expect 80% chance of showers. And what a, what a time to have showers is, um, you know, out to lunches today. All sorts of other things are happening today as well. But, of course, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that after some of the new programming that's going to be happening on MCAT starting tonight at 530. So, without further ado, here's a little taste of what you guys can see on MCAT Channel 189 um, tonight. Um, a lot of you guys understand exactly what uh, Living Art Montana does, but just in case you don't or you need a little reminder, we have just a short video to just kind of remind us all why we're here tonight. And uh, so take it away. Living Art is a place to create, share, and heal. Our workshops engage creativity in support of wellness. People come to Living Art for many reasons. To connect with others who can relate to what they're going through, to uncover strengths when they're feeling overwhelmed, and sometimes just to have fun. 
The art and writing workshops at Living Art are free of charge and all materials are provided. How do we do this? Well, we couldn't do this without your help. What we will not do is harm the right of way to preclude future inclusion of a separated path. I think there's a lot of groups that are wanting to help out transportation. I think the money will come. Uh, but right now, at least for the plan that we have, we have to assume that we won't get that help. And so that's how we're going to react. Uh, we can't afford to construct or maintain separated use paths that aren't already in the project plan. All right. So, of course, that's what you guys can expect to be new on MCAT tonight. But now it is time for some events. So let's talk about... about so what's going on today? Um, today is uh, out to lunch, like I said before, at starting at 11 this morning. Out to lunch is a fun afternoon with live music, uh, free children's activities, and a wide variety of local food trucks. The event is sponsored by Garlington John Robinson and uh, Bodette Counseling Engineers Incorporated. Um, kids table at the library, so if you're a kid who is uh, 18 and under, you get a free lunch at the Pimento Public Library starting at 11.30. And if you guys want to stick around, there's always activities at 12, and I'll get to that after this next one, which is at the Children's Museum at 11.30, and this is 11.30 to 1.30, and this is Families First um, Offices. Um, this internationally acclaimed relationship-based parenting program is designed to help us understand our children's needs, often hidden in the behaviors, and to help us along the journey of understanding ourselves as parents. Um, so you can check that out. It starts at 11.30 at the uh, Children's Museum. Um, Next up at uh, 12 p.m. noon is um, Summer Studio Creating Art Journals at the Missoula Public Library. So once you're eating lunch or while you're eating lunch, um, the Makerspace presents Summer Studio uh, Creating Art Journals. Participants should bring one, uh, one blank journal to the class and make sure it's a journal that doesn't have any like those lines to you know write because this is an art journal. Um, you, for more information and to register, you can call 721-BOOK uh, or 721 -6 2665, um, and this is happening from 12 to 2 p.m. today. Um, 1 p.m. is movies and making at the Big Big Sky Branch. Um, Missoula Public Library's Big Sky Branch hosts a weekly summer activities, movies and making, which features screenings of family-friendly films in the Big Sky Auditorium. So you can check that out, and it's happening at 1 p.m. You can call 728-2400. Um, the extension number is... 8605 and of course you can always log on to missoulevents.net for more information about this event. Um, the University of Montana Planetarium um, is ha are happy to announce that they are they're doing a special series of summer shows tailored to younger stargazers. So they're designing programs for children five and up. Um, each show will run about 40 minutes, uh, 45 minutes in length and will include an overview of constellations visible in Montana. All right. Ooh, sorry. Um, Missoula uh, Middle School Writers, so this is for uh, kids who are in middle school or getting into high school who want to improve their writing skills, um, and this is happening at the Missoula Public Library at 3.30 p.m. at the Missoula Public Library. They do this um, every Wednesday and um, every other, uh, I guess, I believe it's every other Wednesday. Um, Sharon in the Groove, uh, celebrating the music of fish, is happening at uh, 4.30 at the Top Hat, and uh, there's Farmer's Market at the Brewery, so Imagination Brewing Company is doing their own little Farmer's Market starting at 5 p.m. Today. Today. So every Wednesday until September, um, Blue Eyed Dog Farm and Cloven Hoof Mobile Butchery will be selling organic vegetables and local meats. Um, it's a great time to have a brew, listen to bluegrass, and imagine Jam Society. So do your uh, do their shopping for the week and that kind of thing. So a community unite uh, is happening at uh, Kettle House Northside Tap Room. So every uh, pint sold, uh, 50 cents goes to a nonprofit, and it's to H Top. That's the non-profit that they uh, labeled for that one. Um, let's talk about some of the uh, nightly events on Thursday. Um, so there's singer-songwriter Graham Schreiber at the Great Burn Brewing Company. They're doing some folk music, so you can check that out. Uh, MASS, it's, it's basically an acronym. Um, it's First Wednesday Discussion Group, and they're talking about, uh, this is at the Jack Reedy Conference Room in the City Council um, Chamber, City Council Room, basically right next to Thomas Marbar, and uh, they're talking about the end of the world, you know, like all, you know, Notre Dame, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. You can check that out at 7 p.m. if you're, uh, what, are, what are those people called who are obsessed with the end of the world? In the um, worldists? I don't know if there's Apocalypsists? Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a, an official title for that. Uh, yeah. Just, they just... 
people who just look negative for Nancys. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, if you want to do some trivia, um, brains on Broadway trivia is at the Broadway, 7 p.m. Um, country dance lessons with uh, instructor Kathy Clark is at 7 p.m. at the Sunrise Saloon. A live bingo at the Dark Horse, which is like right next door. So if you kind of like the um, if you don't like the dancing part, you can send someone else dancing and you can go play some bingo. Um, introduction to Tai Chi at the Learning Center at the Red Willow. So if you want to learn a little bit of Tai Chi and get started on that, you can do that at 7.30 tonight at the Learning Center at Red Willow. Uh, the Missoula City Band Summer Concert Series is at 8 p.m. tonight. So they're doing some um, things tonight. I believe it's the Sweet Adelines are going to be performing with the Missoula City Band. And I suggest you guys check that out. Um, as a band geek myself, um, if you can't tell. Um, Trivia Abuse Suit is at the Press Box at 8.30, Karaoke Contest, ooh, Karaoke Contest, so um, you theater geeks get on over there and basically um, take all the champion from us regular folk um, at the Karaoke Contest at the Eagles Lounge in Missoula. Craptastic Karaoke is at the Badlander, so it's karaoke without the uh, contest. Um, so you can check that out at the Badlander tonight at 9, Mill Creek Wednesday is the Palace, it's like electronic music, you know, you get a hangout, listen to like electronic music and uh, play pool. Um, that's at the Palace tonight at 9 and of course finally rocking country karaoke at the Sunrise Saloon. So they're having karaoke after um, country dance lessons with Kathy Clark at uh, 9 p.m. at the Sunrise Saloon. And uh, without further ado, uh, here is Asaph with his very first uh, sports uh, musical notes. Yes. <laughs> you remember that Olympic theme song? <laughs> no. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I've, I, and all the time I've been doing musical notes, I've never done my first sports story. So this will be my official first sports story. And I have chosen Shaquille Rashawn O'Neal, known to the world as Shaquille O'Neal, or Shaq. <laughs> you know you're you know you've arrived when you're a one name sports figure, you know? Like Madonna. In this case it's Shaq. Anyway, Shaquille O'Neal is an American retired professional basketball player who is currently an analyst analyst for um television program called Inside the NBA. He stands at seven feet one. And he has played for six teams throughout his 19-year NBA career. So here's here's some of the here's the teams. He's he played for the Orlando Magic, 92 to 96. He played for the Los Angeles Lakers, 96 to 04. The Miami Heat, 04 to 08. Phoenix Suns, 08 to 09. Cleveland Cavaliers, 09 to 2010, and finally the Boston Celtics, 2010 and 2011. So that's those are the teams that he's played for within the 19-year period of an NBA career, which is pretty cool, you know. He's uh, in in 1999 to 2000, he he made the MVP award, and in 92 to 93, he made the Rookie of the Year award. 15 All-Star Game selections, three All-Star Game MPV awards, three Finals MVP awards, two scoring titles, 14 All-NBA team selections, and three NBA All-Defense team selections. Isn't that something? Yeah. And that, that's just a flyover because it would be impossible to do everything. Anyway, um, as a boy, he credits the Boys and Girls Club of America for keeping him off the streets and giving him something to do growing up and all he did was shoot baskets, shoot hoops in those early years and it shows in his playing as you can see. And um, he attended high school in San Antonio, Texas. He led his team as a high school student to the state championship in his senior year. Isn't that something? That's just amazing. Let's show this clip here of him in action. So, in, and, and there's some other things real quick. In 2012, he was honored as one of the 35 greatest McDonald's All-Americans. And of course, finally, let, let me look up here. Okay, when he was playing with the Lakers as a free agent, in the summer of 96, um, he was named to the United States Olympic basketball team and he was also later part of the gold medal winning team of the 96 Olympics in Atlanta. So this is just a 
flyover of flyovers of everything this man's done because it would be impossible to talk about everything. I mean, every team he's played on, he's he's been voted MVP with a high shooting record, except for in the free throws. He would like have percentages in blocking, passing, and all those sort of things. So, you know, your audience can look up the Shack and check out his career. He's just done it all. He's done television. He's done movies, and yeah. now he's. An analyst. I I, I don't I don't care what anyone says. Kazam is definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> I mean, like, it's it, it's it's super cheesy, but it's like you you, you go to a movie to enjoy a movie to uh-huh. escape. Yeah. You don't well, go to a movie think... and be like, <laughs> that's not realistic. Well, he's a genie that comes out of a boombox. It's like you know it's kind of going to be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess you have to have a, be a good sport if you're seven feet tall and you play a genie. It's just like uh, Dwayne the Rock. Oh, yeah. the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, and he, and he sold that. He sold it. He made more money than they spent on that movie. That's that's a success. If you if you make more money than you spend on making the movie, it's 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 a profit. Yeah. Well, you know what got me hooked on Dwayne Johnson in that film was when I saw the name Julie Andrews in it. I knew I was gonna like it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and on that note, I will say Shaquille O'Neal is probably one of the best basketball players in history, and you know that's debatable with some people. But your audience can have fun and yeah. talk about that. Well, thanks, ASAP. Sure. And that was Musical Notes with ASAP Adonai. Uh, right now, instead of an art clip, we're going to be showing you a nice little uh, gardening tips from the Missoula Urban De- Demonstration Project. So check it out. You want to make sure that you don't add too much fertilizer to them, because if they get too high in nitrogen, um, they'll focus mm. on producing leaves. Exactly. And then they won't produce as much fruit. So you want to you encourage them to make fruit for us because the leaves don't do us much good. Um, egg shells, dried up egg shells that you blend up mm-hmm. to prevent the blossom end. Yeah, that's great. Mm. So, Sean, have you seen blossom end rot before? Uh, I've seen it. Yeah, mm. it stinks. And having it ruins the tomato. It does. It's really a bummer because like you have the tomato and it's so close, and then the butt rots. Um, but yeah, calcium, having enough calcium can really help prevent it. And another thing that causes blossom end rot is really irregular watering. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you just keep it, try and keep it steady. But yeah, that's a great, and there's so many household waste items that you can use. You know? yeah. All right, so that was just a little tip in here and there is that, you know, sometimes if you have too much nitrogen, it can cause some rotting inside and out. So just be aware that um, just gardening and stuff. But I don't know too much about gardening, so just, you know, it, it, uh, Missoula Urban Dish Demonstration Project has uh, monthly um, classes for people who want to learn about gardening. I filmed the last two. Uh, that one was the one I filmed in May. The one I just filmed just recently was about, like, top-down gardening, which basically they use those little crates that forks lift we use to lift up, uh, you know, equipment and heavy uh, um, products and stuff like that. They basically turn those into stand-up gardens. You, you know what I'm talking about, ASAP? Mm-hmm. You know, stand-up gardens where you basically stand them up and you basically grow from the side up and you okay. point it towards the side. It, it's weird. It's like it's vertical gardening. Yeah. And they also show some of the, the, the topsy turvy type stuff, how you can make your own topsy turvy <laughs> um, plant as well. You, you just need a plant that has strong roots, and tomatoes are pretty much solid with that. So, um, enough of that. Let's continue with some more events. But of course, I do want to um, nail on the head uh, where you can find more information about Wake Up Missoula. To find out more for better information about Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made you write it out twice. You can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. All tweet you back i promise um you can tweet us at um mcat tv missoula as well as at wake up missoula um you can also like mcat on our facebook page you have the type of missoula community access television um you can also go to mcat.org just have the type of mcat.org and you can um see local government videos here you can go to um you can learn more about making your own show here at mcat and you can watch any of our shows on demand anytime anywhere um, on MCAT. Of course, there's a couple uh, videos that we can't show, which are basically kind of like basic imports. So just be aware of that. Uh, most of the original program that comes in, into Missoula is something you can watch on video on demand. So it's it's a great resource. But of course, let's move on to uh, Thursday events. So uh, happening this Thursday, tomorrow, um, is healthcare and elder care. Uh, m- medi- 
mediation. So at 11 a.m., uh, Community Dispute Resolution Center in Missoula, um, learn uh, mediation um, skills to better navigate the elder care and elder health issues um, of the world. Um, if you are a health care provider, caregiver, or family member, um, you need to know how to uh, mediate to obtain the best possible care for your dependent or loved one. Um, Tiny Tales is happening at the Missoula Public Library at 10.30 tomorrow morning, and this is from birth to uh, three years of age. Um, this program help is held every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 10.30 p.m. Um, babies um, get to um, be accompanied by an adult, uh, of course. Um, they will sing songs, learn finger plays, and um, nursery rhymes and hear stories. This program is usually held in large green room, otherwise specified if they uh, post somewhere else, sometimes the dragon rug, um, up on the, the book area. The library part. Um, at 11, 11 a.m., the Historic Museum at Fort Missoula is doing kids activities. So they're doing every year, every uh, Tuesday and Thursday, they're doing kids activities at from 11 to 12, and that's happening. And also from 3 to 4, all summer long. Each uh, week there'll be different theme. So uh, and they'll and activities. Uh, kids of all age are welcome. Um, up next, there's the Hellgate High School Blood Drive. So they're hosting the Blood Drive at Hellgate High School at 11 a.m. tomorrow. So they're looking. This is put on by the Missoula Blood Donation Center. Um, da, da, da. And this is happening from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hellgate High School. Um, you can call Lauren for an appointment, 552-2138, uh, or you can read them online at www.redcrossblood.org. And of course, walk-ins are always welcome. They're always looking for people to donate blood. They won't turn you away if you walk in there and you say, hey, I want to give you my blood. It's like, well, you know, you didn't set up an appointment. It's like, no, they want your blood. So donate your blood, maybe get a free cookie, get some water. It's, it's a good resource to help save lives. Um, Missoula Public Library, um, they're doing a Makerspace presents July Acoustic Guitar Club. So if you're a, a, a beginner at guitar, but you want to also learn with other people, just kind of like um, express yourself, but also um, steal some tips and tricks from other um, accomplished um, acoustic guitarists, you can check that out. It's happening tomorrow at 12. Um, Pop-Up Adventure Playground is happening at the Children's Museum. Museum at Westside Park and it's starting at 1 p.m. tomorrow from 1 to 3. Join as they use everyday items as paper towels, cardboard, egg cartons, and string to encourage open-end child-directed play. They provide all the supplies so kids provide the imagination and creativity. Uh, family movies at Missoula, Maine, so public library at 2 p.m. The Missoula Public Library is doing a uh, movie for all ages and that's happening at 2 p.m. And um, next up at the Missoula Butterfly House, create your own Montana Native Bug Guide. So on this on Thursday afternoon, uh, 3 p.m., you get to learn all about Native arthur Anthropods that you can look through your hikes or even through your backyard. Um, of course, during this activity, you will have a chance to build a Native Bug Guide um, that you can carry along with you and write your um, observations for future exploration. Uh, Missoula Public Library has a Lego Club meeting uh, every Thursday at 3.30 to 5 p.m. and you can check that out. Um, it's just, you know, you get to play with Legos, uh, just don't have any bare feet and watch where you step. Um, 3.30, uh, spider feeding, so Rosie the Chilean um, rose haired tarantula is fed every Thursday at 3.30 p.m. It seems like she gets fed a lot, so you can't really miss it. And it's at the Missoula Econ Insectarium, which is upstairs from the uh, Spectrum Discovery Center. Um, Karis Park is having um, dinner in the park, or as, as they like to call it, downtown tonight. Nobody calls, I've met so many people, nobody calls it downtown tonight. Everyone just says, oh, it's dinner in the park. I was like, oh, I get it now. Um, a fun evening filled with live music, Ch children activities and a wide variety of local food jokes and of course they have a Budweiser beer garden so it's basically like out to lunch but with alcohol so just be aware of that um, at 5 30 there's the nursing nook and um, if you're interested in finding out about local service to help you during pregnancy birth and uh, postpartum <coughs> um, come join them uh, it's open house style you can just come in and you can meet with people who were pregnant are pregnant and work with pregnant people and and it's at the nursing nook at 5 30 tomorrow night a uh, good food store is having a sun ripe vegetable fields of fragrant lavender port fresh seafood and barrels of olive oil all help explain why some of the globe's most coveted dishes come from southern france tonight susan um, phillips will show you how to prepare a uh, uh, a couple classics, um, I don't want to say that word, I don't know what that word is, uh, demonstrating the traditional cooking techniques that lead to the bold flavors for which the region is famous for. So 
French dining, all for 35 bucks, happening at the Good Food Store at 6.30 tomorrow night. Um, and then of course that's uh, it for your uh, daily events. Let's talk a little bit about your Thursday night events. Um, let's see, t -t 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 Five Valleys Land Trust, Open Land, and uh, let's see. Oh. They're doing a, a celebration of Montana Open Lands month in July, Valley, Valley Land Trust is hosting a party to thank the community to celebrate the open spaces we all cherish. The family friendly event will take place um, tomorrow at 5:30 until 8:30 at the Red at the uh, Line Ranch in Missoula South Hills. Uh, live music, snacks, and beer and children activities. The event is free and open to the public, and food and beverages. Um, I have to go back. Okay, Treasure State Toastmasters at the Community Medical Center is having an event tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Um, learn to improve your speaking skills and learn to speak good. <laughs> uh, flavors of the World um, at the Good Food Store. Um, oh, I, already, I think I already mentioned that. Um, Country Dance Lessons with Kathy Clark, again, is at the Sunrise Saloon. Big Brains Trivia at the Holiday Inn um, downtown at the park. Um, banjos, booze, and uh, broads is happening at La Petite Autre and it's happening, it's a special event, uh, it's happening at 7.30 and uh, of course, uh, Trivia Beer Suit is at the Dark Horse at 8 p.m. Um, open Mic is happening at the Eagles Lodge in Missoula. Um, open Mic again at the Broadway, Dead Hipster at the Battle Nine. 9, Rockin' Karaoke hosted by Aaron B. Rocks is at the Dark Horse. Um, in Touchables 2011, is at 9 p.m. at the International House Backyard, and it's a comedy show. Um, John Howard's Homegrown Comedy, it's the first uh, Thursday of the month, and they do it every first Thursday of the month at the Union Club, starting at 9.30, is comedy. So if you want to learn to laugh or laugh at people, you can go there at 9.30 um, tonight. Uh, I mean, tomorrow night, sorry. Uh, Dead Larry's is at the Top Hat Lounge at 10 p.m., and I believe that is rock music, and let me just look at that real quick and just give you a brief description. It's a Dead Larry's powerful blend of high-energy rock dance and funk shakes the foundation of modern music from rock-driven um, sea shanties. Sea shanties, so they're kind of like a, a pirate rock band. Um, and they just like booty funk jams, orchestra themes of space and time travel, and it's all happening um, 10 p.m. Thursday night. Um, but that's pretty much it for your events that's going on here. But of course, it is time for our very own favorite segment, as I like to call Hallmark or Bullmark. <laughs> and let's play. Okay, so the, the, this is how the game works. I read a synopsis from a Hallmark original movie, and um, you have to decide if it's real or it's Bullmark. Hence the name Hallmark or Bull mark. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's play. <clears throat> it's the hottest day of the year, and Nancy Sullivan's farm is on the brink, brink of bankruptcy. It isn't until the hunky Luke Michaels comes down to help Nancy. Luke is a graduate in agriculture, but has never stepped foot on a farm before. With some of Luke, Luke's book smarts and Nancy's farm smarts, these two put up an unlikely partnership to save one of the last privately owned farms in the area. And this movie is called College to Farm. Is this a Hallmark original movie or is this complete Bullmark? I'm going to say it's Hallmark. You're going to say it's Hallmark? Yeah. Wow, that was quick. <sighs> well, you're wrong. It's Bullmark. Oh, we got it. Okay. Yep, you're wrong. Well, let's try this again. Like every Hallmark or Bullmark segment, we always give you a second chance to redeem yourself. <laughs> so let's do the next part. All right. So big city. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> big city girl Hannah plans on having a vacation in the Bahamas, but when her flight is grounded in Denver. Oh wait, wait, wait. Right. But when her flight is grounded in Denver's airport in Colorado, she must learn to adapt. In one of the highest rainfall rainfalls on record, Hannah is stuck in Denver's airport, but with the help of Aaron, the flight attendant, she may get the vacation she always wanted. And the movie's called Grounded in Denver. Is this a, a Hallmark original movie? I'm gonna or? say Hallmark. You can say Hallmark. Yes. Well, you are wrong. Oh, you are God, wrong. Twice, okay. <laughs> Both of them are completely made up by yours truly. You got me. Well, thanks for playing. <laughs>
<laughs> and if you want to learn more information and play your own version of Hallmark or Bullmark, I put it on our website so you guys can play it at home. Um, a little nice little Hallmark or Bullmark little tab so you click on it and it can bring you to this nice little page of whether or not I give you a synopsis and you get to choose whether or not it's Hallmark or Bullmark. And it's, it's pretty sweet. So you can find that on wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice. We made you write it out twice. Um, you can also like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. You could follow MCAT on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You could uh, like MCAT on Facebook. Missoula Community Access Television also has their own website. It's called MCAT.org. It's pretty great. Um, if you want to be on our show and uh, talk about your upcoming event, cause, or rally, you can call us at 542-6228. But if you're too scared, you can email us um, MCAT at MCAT.org. Our number again is 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. <laughs> and um, thanks for joining me, Asaf. Uh, My it, was a, it was a nice little short show. And um, Noel. It should be uh, back on Friday, allegedly. It's, it's like the word I use all the time is allegedly. So mm -hmm. we are going to allegedly end with Asaph Adonai. So take it away, Asaph. And for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. I'm Asaph Adonai.